Hey, it's Audrey. Welcome back to my channel. So Valentine's Day is just around the corner if we ever get through January and to be honest, it's got to be one of my favorite holidays. Mainly because of my birthday is the day before, but I don't know, I just like the vibe. My last friendship bracelet video did pretty well, so why not make another one? And these heart friendship bracelets are absolutely adorable. I think these are one of my favorites to make. I'd say they're still considered easy or for beginners, you know. Um, out of all the embroidery thread colors, I went with pink and red. Very fitting for Valentine's Day. A lot of you were skeptical in the last friendship bracelet video about making the strings five feet long, but trust me on this one, five feet might not even be enough depending on the size of your wrist. Plus you fold it in half, so yeah, just, just trust me. Line up all of the ends of the strings and then fold them in half like so and tie a knot in the top to make a loop. Also, just so you know, I go into way better detail in the other video too, so if you get slightly confused, this one is very similar to the chevron bracelet. I'll put the link in the description. I used my super cute tape to secure the threads to my table. I usually use a clipboard for this, but I am just doing this for presentation purposes. Anyway, next step is organizing your strings. All you need to do is make sure they are a mirror image of each other. And I want the light pink to be my background color and the red to be the actual heart outline. So I'm putting the pink on the outside like this. So basically whatever color you want to be the background color, I guess, then make sure those strings are on the outside. Once you get all organized, I just wanted to say that this pattern consists of four steps or four rows of knotting that you'll end up just repeating over and over. So let's jump right into the first one. Starting on the left side, take the string on the far left and make a forward knot on the string next to it by making a four shape twice and knotting it. And again, if you don't know how to do these certain types of knots, my other video will definitely help. Since you just did a forward knot, this pink string moves one spot to the right like this. And using that same pink string, do a forward knot on the next string. Then it moves one more spot to the right and does one last forward knot on the red string. Now you're done with the left side for now and you can just leave those alone. On to the right side, take the pink on the far right and do a backward knot on the string next to it, basically making a backwards four twice and knotting it. And then use that same pink string on the next two strings. The two center strings should now be pink instead of red, and use these two to make a forward knot to basically connect the two sides. You 
are officially done with the first row, now onto the second. So this one's gonna be a little different. Starting on the left side, use the two outer strings and make a backwards knot. It's a pink knot over the red string, just like this. And then once you do that, just get the pink string out of the way. Same thing on the right side, but with a forward knot. Take the two strings and make a forward knot with the pink going over the red. And then once you do that, set the pink aside. Go on back to the left side and use the leftist string and do forward knots through the next two strings, just like we did in our first row of knotting. And then after that, go to the right side and do backwards knots on the next two strings. Now we have two red strings that meet in the middle and you want to connect them using a forward knot. Onto the third row of knotting, it's gonna be the same exact thing as the row we just did. Do a backward knot with the two strings on the left and do a forward knot with the two on the right. Move the red out of the way and then go back to the left side, take the left string and do regular forward knots until it reaches the middle, and on the right side do backwards knots until it reaches the middle. Then, of course, connect them in the middle with a forward knot. Now, the final fourth row of the pattern. Um, you're going to do the same exact thing as we did for the first row. And the same exact thing you repeat throughout the chevron pattern if you've done that one before. On the left side, use the most left string to make forward knots until it reaches the middle, and on the right side, use the most right string to make backwards knots until it reaches the middle. And then all you have to do is connect those red strings with a forward knot. And just like that, you've officially completed the pattern. Congrats. You can see a little baby heart there. So stinking cute. 
Just repeat these four steps over and over and you should eventually make a bracelet. This one took me like four hours to finish. Bro, that's the only thing I don't like about these bracelets. They take so long. But I mean, I'm isolated with COVID right now. So what else am I supposed to do with my time? Homework? Nah. But I'd say this bracelet was worth it in the end. I'm really happy with how these colors turned out. And I hope this actually helped you. It's kind of confusing, but once you get it, it's easy. So yeah. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I tie it on my wrist. I thought this was kind of self-explanatory, but everyone was getting all mad in the comments in my last friendship bracelet video about how I didn't show how to tie it, but you can tie it however the heck you want. But I basically do it by threading all the strings through the loop and simply tying a knot. I don't know how else to say it, it's that simple. Please get someone else to help you with this. Watching me struggle is kind of giving me anxiety. So get your friends to help you. But I don't want my friends to get COVID, so I don't know what you do at that point. Figure it out like I somehow did. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day surrounded by the people you love most. And make a bracelet for someone. That would be nice.